Praise the Lord. <coughs> Sige po, mga kapatid, tayo po ay magpatuloy na po sa ating uh, pag-aaral ng salita na Just kindly open your Bibles with me. Tayo po ay pupunta na sa Psalm 148. Psalm 148. Kung kayo po ay nandun na, just say Amen. And I'd like to say, hearing you saying Amen. Sige po, atin pong basahin ito. Sabay-sabay po tayo, mga kapatid. <clears throat> One, two, three, go. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise Him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded and they were created. And He established them forever and ever. He gave a decree and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all dips, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind fulfilling His word. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, beasts and all livestock, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and maidens together, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for His people Praise for all His saints, for the people of Israel who are near to Him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tayo po manalangin, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. Father, we are all gathered here for one reason. And that is to worship You, our Lord. And so, Lord, if there's anything that hinders us in giving all our hearts and minds and strength and spirit in worshiping you, asking for forgiveness and asking also that you take this away from us right now, Lord God. Because we do not like anything to hinder us as we continue to worship you all the more in learning your words. Father, Asking, Lord, as we continue to gather, give us hearts that truly desire to know you more and more. Hearts that truly would grace upon the beauties and excellencies of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Give us hearts that truly would magnify your name, and magnify the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. You are the author of these words. Give us the power to understand your words, O Lord. Give us these hearts that truly desire to know you. Learn from your words. Learn the truths of your words, O Lord. Holy Spirit, speak to us this morning. Speak to us this morning. Teach us this morning. Lord, this is such a great task for me. And so I ask from you, be the one to empower, Lord God, and be the one to talk to your people. Thank you, Lord. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, my God, my rock, and my redeemer. Lord Jesus Christ, my King, our King, our Lord, take your place. Be glorified. This is our prayer in your name. Lahat po tayo magsabi na. Amen. I also like to praise the Lord for uh, this time because si Sister Joy po ay kasama natin ngayon, fresh from Singapore, mga kapatid. Wala po siyang baong chocolate. Naubos na na po kasi sa quarantine place.
May question lang po ako. How many times did the Lord Jesus Christ say, He who has ears, listen in the gospel? Would you know? How many times po sinabi ng Lord itong katagang ito? He who has ears, listen. Alam niyo po ba na this admonition by Jesus is recorded six times in the gospel? Six times. Now, every time po, mga kapatid, that after niya po mag-preach to the, 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 the crowd, always he would end up something like, He who has ears, listen. Brothers and sisters, our Lord is calling for people to pay careful heed. Every time that He is talking to the people, she's somehow saying, be careful, take heed, listen carefully. It's another way of saying, listen up and pay close attention. So, brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus Christ right now, I'd like you to think of this. He's telling all of us, listen up and pay close attention. Also, in John chapter 10, verses 3 to 4, sabi po dyan, and because the gatekeeper knows who he is, he opens the gate to let him in, and the sheep recognize the voice of the true shepherd, for he calls his own by name and leads them out, for they belong to him. So, Ito pong shepherd na ito, papasok po sa gate ng sheep pen and tatawagin niya po isa-isa yung sheep niya by name. And as he calls them, they follow him. They approach him. In verse 4, And when he has brought out all his sheep, he walks ahead of them. Ano sabi dyan? They follow him for they are familiar with his words. Ano sabi ng Lord doon po sa simbiasa natin kanina, mga kapatid? Sinabi ko sa inyo, Lord always says, He who has ears, listen. Now in John chapter 10, verse 3 and 4, sinasabi dito ngayon the, the relationship of the sheep and the shepherd. Sinasabi po dito sa atin, the sheep knows the voice of the shepherd. Ano sabi niya kanina? He who has ears, Listen, brothers and sisters, I hope everyone who are here right now can recognize the voice of the shepherd. Sabi po sa Hebrews 1-2, But to us living in these last days, God now speaks to us openly in the language of a son. The appointed heir of everything, for through him God created the panorama of all things in all time. Here now, dear saints. Here now, church. Here now, my beloved brothers and sisters. The Lord speaks through his word. The scriptures, the Bible, the shepherd is now about to teach us his word. And I admonish everyone. Listen carefully as you hear his words. Listen carefully. And I'd like to borrow the words of my Lord and your Lord. He who has ears, listen. Brothers and sisters, the word praise is used 13 times in these 14 verses of Psalm 148. Now, if this word is, has been used or been used in this particular passage, then immediately, nahuli na po natin kung ano po yung context ng passage. This is about praising God. So the psalm begins in the highest heavens and ends with the little nation of Israel. The, the author is saying here, the highest heavens of heavens, they praise God. And at the ends of the earth, they praise God. And now so, so focusing on the little nation of Israel, they also praise God. You see, brothers and sisters, tayo po mga Christians, we often speak praising God. Sometimes expression na nga po natin ng hallelujah or praise the Lord. Right? 
So, hindi po tayo alien dun po sa phrase of praising God. Alam niyo po ba in Hebrew, tatlong words po, mga kapatid, ang kadalasan ginagamit po in, 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 in describing praise. The first Hebrew word used in praise is yada. Yada means, yada means praise, give thanks, or confess. Yun po ang meaning ng yada. The second word or Hebrew word of praise in the Old Testament is zamar. The word zamar po is sing praise. Kaya po yung ginagawa natin at the start of our worship, we sing praise. That's zamar. Okay? And then, the third word po of praise is halal. Which, dun po galing po yung hallelujah. Halal. The root word of hallelujah meaning to praise, honor, or commend. All these three terms, brothers and sisters, gives us the idea of thanking and honoring one who is worthy of praise. One who is worthy of praise. Alam niyo po, kung pag-aaralan po, mga kapatid, ang Hebrew or Greek, marami pong praises, uh, uh, words silang ginagamit for, word of, uh, for, for the word praise, but ito pong tatlo po ang gusto kong bigyan natin ng pansin. Brothers and sisters, we, we praise the Lord for His traits. Kaya po, nandito po tayo ngayon sa pinag-aaralan po natin yung kanya nature, yung kanya pong attribute. So that the more po natin alam, paano po siya purihin, mga kapatid. We, 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 we praise the Lord for His works. That every time that we see each other, we praise the Lord. Amen po ba, mga kapatid? That every time we see the sun, the moon, and the stars, and everything in all His creation, immediately will draw us and praising Him. We praise the Lord, brothers and sisters, for His character. Is your God faithful? Is your God loving? Is your God a just God? A God who loves us so much and He will definitely discipline whom He loves? then those are reasons for praising God and thanking God. Brothers and sisters, we praise all of those things because these things pertain to His acts of blessings. Kaya po, we commend Him, we honor Him, we thank Him, we celebrate Him, we rejoice when we see all these things. Our God, brothers and sisters, he is worthy of all our praises. Ulitin ko po yan. Our God, He is worthy of all our praises. You see, yung praise po, gusto ko po malinaw sa atin to, yung praise po, ito po yung joyful recounting of all God has done for us. Brothers and sisters, we are united with God. We are God's children because of Him also. That every time that we think that I am a child of God, it gives us all the reason to praise our Lord. You know why? Because of our Lord Jesus Christ. What He did there on the cross. Brothers and sisters, I'd like us to remember, ang praise po is not worship. Pero po, ang praise is only part of worship. Minsan po, nagkakaroon po tayo ng misconception about this. I am praising God and therefore I am worshiping God. Oops. Praising is only part of worshiping. Because I'd like us to understand, worship is of different place. It's of within our spirit. Ang worship po nang gagaling po yan sa spirit natin. Primarily, it comes from our hearts. Hearts that truly know God. Hearts that truly see God. Hearts that truly understand what Christ did for His life. Yun po yung worship. And, and brothers and sisters, listen up. Worship should be reserved for God alone. Ulitin ko po yan. Ang pagsamba po, 
naka-reserve lamang po ito sa Diyos at sa Kanya lamang. Because He alone deserves to be worshipped. He alone deserves to be worshipped. So, listen up. Here goes. Worship is the art of losing self in the adoration of another. Ulitin ko po yan. Worship is the act of losing self in the adoration of another. It's, it's focusing not on ourselves, but focusing on God and God alone. Kaya po, ito po yung art of losing ourselves. I hope, brothers and sisters, as you go and worship your Lord this time, this morning, you forget about yourself. And only think about praising and worshiping your Lord. Amen? You see, brothers and sisters, praise is easy. Worship is not. Hello? Madali lang pong pumuri at magpuri. Tama po ba? Worship is not easy. Worship is not easy. Worship gets to the heart of who we are. Ang pagsamba po ay, alam niyo po, nandun po tagus sa puso kung ano ang laman ng puso mo ngayon, kapatid. Are you all here with all your heart and mind and soul and strength? Or your mind is already wandering outside of this, of the four corners of this room? Don't worry. This sermon will take about three hours. So, please, yung inyo pong agenda for this morning and early this afternoon, sira na po. Kaya po, kung kayo po ay mayroong lakad, ang ating po pagtatapos ay 2 p.m. na right timely po sa Couples Fellowship. Kasi po yung iba, baka po magdahilan pa na hindi umaten ng Couples Fellowship. Kaya i-extend ko po yung sermon ko ngayon hanggang 2 p.m. Ang palalabasin lang po natin mamaya, yung hindi po couple. Okay po ba yun, mga kapatid? Ngayon, mamaya po, pasasar ako po yun para wala na talagang makalabas. No, here, here, here. Brothers and sisters, Through worship, we must let go of self-worship. True worship to God is letting go of our self-worship. We must be willing to humble ourselves before God. We must be willing to surrender every part of our lives to His control. And adore Him for who He is and not just for what He has done. Yun po yung totoong worship. Kaya po ang worship po, brothers and sisters, sa isang totoong anak ng Diyos, it is a lifestyle. Lifestyle po natin. We are letting go of our self-worship. We are, let, we, are, we are asking God, we are telling God, take full control of every aspect of my life. That is worship. And adoring Him. Kaya nga, alam niyo po, naalala niyo po yung sabi ng Lord Jesus Christ in John 4.23. Jesus said, The Father is seeking those who will worship Him in spirit and in truth. Brothers, sisters, what? our Lord is looking into right now into our hearts if, is if our hearts truly would like to know Him more and more. Kaya po sabi ko noong una pa man, He who has ears, listen. If any psalm reveals the glory and grandeur of the worship of the Lord, 
It is this one. Ito po yan. For it is cosmic in dimension. Sakop po ang buong creation. Lagpas pa po sa universe na ito. And yet very personal in intention. Are you all here, brothers and sisters, to worship our God? Are you all here to give praise to our God? Has how anyone, malungkot, how anyone could trivialize the privilege and responsibility of worship after pondering this psalm is difficult to understand. Alam niyo po, after po natin matutunan ito later on, and, and if we will not feel the, the privilege and honor and responsibility of truly worshiping our Lord, sa totoo lang mga kapatid, hindi ka na maiintindihan. Hindi ka maiintindihan. Ano pa ba ang hindi po maiintindihan in worshiping our Lord? Meron po ako na is, nabasang isang kwento. Meron po isang pastor, he visited one who was ill in bed. And after having buried seven of her family in six months. So ito pong pasyente, nandaka, uh, nasa hospital, nakaratay sa karamdaman. He visited them, uh, her. And then, yung kanya pong pitong kamag-anak, nilibing po in the last six months. And then, sabi ni pastor ganito doon sa pasyente, I heard that even on your, the, eighth, the eighth one, which is your beloved husband, nilibing na rin. So can you imagine, eight na ngayon kasama yung husband. Don't you feel, don't, do not you fret at any of those things? Tanong ng pastor, hindi ka ba nalulungkot? dun sa mga narinig mong balita na yon. And then this patient looked at the pastor with a lovely smile upon her pale cheek. Ang sabi niya ganito, Oh no! How can I fret at anything which is the will of God? Let him take all besides. He has given me himself. I love I praise Him every moment. That is praising in the midst of trials. Alam niyo po, sa totoo lang, mga kapatid, kung totoo po natin kilala ang Diyos, even in the midst of strong trials, we will be able to praise God and give thanks to our Lord. Meron po another kwento sa inyo. Pasensya na kayo. Nakapanog po, po kami ng barbero ko kahapon. Talk about praising. Talk about worshiping our Lord. Ultimately, the, the goal of praising and worshiping our Lord is to glorify our Lord and please our God. Amen po ba? Now, talk about this. Meron pong famous violinist. Nag-perform po siya sa isang concert niya, sa isang pinakamalaking concert hall po doon. And as he stood before the packed house, punong-puno po that night, and he played his violin, he mesmerized the audience with his prowess and skill. So napahanga niya yung lahat ng audience doon po sa galing niya mag, mag-play ng violin. And then, after he played and finished that song, He stood out, stood up and bowed down. After bowing down, lifting up his head, all the audience was standing up, clapping their hands towards him. And then, alam niyo po sa concert, pag nagustuhan po ng audience, di ba, pag tapos na, nasabihin nila, one more, one more. Naalala niyo po yun? Di ba, sa concert, ganyan. So, the audience were clamoring for another performance And then, pinagbigyan niya ulit, violinist. He played it then another song. But when he, he, again, after playing another song, everyone standing up, everyone clapping, 
But he noticed one person there. And ang request nila, just one last song. But after that, play another song. He played another song and he played another song. So in other words, brothers, instead of last song, naging one album. And on the last song, eh, again, when he took that bow, when he, rise, he raised his head up, finally, he kissed the audience goodbye. And then, during, his, during the press con, one reporter bravely approached him and asked him, why do you keep on playing songs? Isa lang naman yung request and everybody was so stunned and amazed sa'yo. And sabi niya ganito, I've noticed one person who was not standing there at the audience. That happens to be my teacher. But until the last song, I saw him standing up and clapping his hand. I told myself, I have already pleased him. And that is enough. Christians, listen to me. Who are you living? Who are you living to please? Let me, let me repeat this to you. Who are you living to please? Is your life focused on receiving the praises of man? Or are you striving to please your master? Jesus Christ is our master. The writer of Hebrews says in Hebrews 12 to looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of faith, let us keep our focus on Jesus Christ that we may be satisfied that we did a good job when we hear His words, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. The passage tells us, brothers and sisters, in verses 1 to 6, the heavens praise the Lord. The heavens praise. This is very important, brothers and sisters. The heavens praise the Lord. We do not praise a God who was manufactured on earth. We praise the one true and living God who reigns from the highest heavens and the God who created all things. There is one creator and there is only one creator and that creator deserves to be worshipped and praised with all of our lives. Sige po, si Solomon po, tama po siya nung sinabi niya sa 1 Kings 8.27. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, heaven and the highest heaven cannot contain you. How much less this house that I have built. Remember the time that King Solomon was, uh, was given the, the, the power, enablement to build the temple? Ano sabi niya? This temple cannot contain God. Also in Acts 17, 24 to 25. The God who made the world and everything in it, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by men. Nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything since he himself gives to all mankind life and breath and everything. Kaya po mga kapatid, be careful po in saying you are going to serve the Lord. Be careful in saying the phrase. I hope it's not coming from a heart that says, Lord, I serve you because you cannot do this, so let me do this for you. I hope it's not coming from saying to the Lord, na, Lord, you lack something, so papupupunan ko yung what's lacking to you. So be careful in saying serving, serving the Lord. Sabi dito, he is, nor he is served by human hands. Brothers and sisters, listen up. Our God does not need our presence to be worshipped. Hello? 
Ang Diyos po natin, hindi po kailangan ng presensya natin para lang may sumamba sa Kanya. He does not need our serving. Our God is a complete God. They, they, he does not lack anything. Now listen up. Why do we serve the Lord? Why do we serve the Lord? Listen up. Because this is a careful understanding that you are created to serve the Lord. Nasunodan niya po yung gusto ko sabihin. Kaya ka naglilingkod sa Diyos kasi naiintindihan mo ang rason kung bakit ka nilikha ng Diyos at nilikha ka ng Diyos para paglingkuran po ang Diyos. Hindi ka naglilingkod sa Diyos dahil may kulang ang Diyos. Nasusundan niyo po ako. Kaya po isa pong privilege sa isang anak ng Diyos ang maglingkod sa Diyos. At isa pong kaligayahang nag-uumapaw sa kanyang puso ang magpaglingkuran po ang Diyos. And what is better as serving the Lord than serving His church? Hindi po ako galit, dynamic lang. How can you better better display that you are serving the Lord? Hindi ba you serve the church whom He loves? And what a joy sa isa pong tunay na nakaunawa po nito, mga kapatid. Alam niyo po, nag-uwinit po ang kanyang puso at sinasabi niya, paano ko nga ba paglilingkuran ng aking Panginoon? Paano nga ba? Maraming beses ko na ho sinabi, mga kapatid, You need not to ask anything. All you have to do is just carefully observe around and you will find a ministry that you would serve the Lord through His church. Every time na lang po may announcement, meron po ditong the ushering and the praise and worship and the children are looking for more ministers. How's our response? How's our response? Even the technical team is looking for a people that will help them. How are we going to respond? Or respond? Paano nga ba? Even po the, the setup committee, brothers and sisters, ngayon po na tayo po ay united worship na. We need extra hand in preparing this place. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, brothers and sisters, you need not to ask ano ba maitutulog. All you have to do is really observe. And you, will find, and you will see there are areas which you can serve the church. Hey, church, listen up. Discipleship is the greatest area wherein we can serve the Lord. Let me ask you, How's your discipleship? How's your discipleship? Don't, don't, like, please, please don't give me this answer. I already know everything. Talaga. Then let me enroll in your school and like to know also what you learn so that I will know what you learn. Hindi po ako nagbibiro. Totoo po ito. I'd like to know. I'd like to learn what you've learned. How, how's, how's your discipleship? Uh, disciple, SGH leaders, how's, 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 are you still enjoying your SGH? Uh, uh, SGH members, san topic na ba kayo? Don't you see that part of praising God and worshiping God? Hello? Sabi niya, eto ngayon, sabi nila, eto na naman si pastor. Yeah, eto na naman nga ako. At hindi po ako afraid na sabihan niyong eto na naman ako. Because this is my responsibility to you. Do not ever, brothers and sisters, ever, ever, ever say that you do not need to join any discipleship because if you do that, then you are already wrong. You are already in great mistake. 
How can you be able to worship God truly if you do not know God truly? How can we be able to know God truly apart from the scriptures and apart from studying the scriptures? Meron po kami nakausap ni Sister Menchu last Friday. Ang sabi ni po nila ganito, We are keeping and praying to the Lord and we are asking for the Lord for signs. Okay, I know, I respect you believe in signs and wonders. When the Lord makes the sign, you wonder why. Alam niyo sabi ko sa kanya, biniling ko po nung bago kami maghiwalay, ito po sabi ko sa kanya, you'd like to know the answer of the Lord, you'd like to know the will of the Lord, go to the Bible. Read the Bible, you will learn the will of the Lord. You'd like to know the answer to your, to your problems, go to the Bible. You'd like to know what's going on with your life and what's wrong with your life, go to the Bible. Bible will reveal it to you. The Word of God will reveal it to you. Tingnan nyo mga kapatid, kahit po host yung armies sa heaven, including the angel and the stars and the planets of all which praise the Lord. Remember, we are worshiping Lord Sabawat. He is the Lord of hosts. He is Lord of hosts. He is Lord of the armies of heavens. He is the Lord. He is the one that the sun and the moon and the stars worships day and night. The scripture po gives us a few descriptions, mga kapatid, of, of how worship is done there in the church or in the heavens. I'm sorry, but we are cautioned not to worship angels. The sun and the moons and the moon and the stars also praise God simply by doing what they were commanded to do. As the sun gives us light, that's, it, that's, the, that's, that's its form of worship. As the moon shine, shines so bright its light at night, that's its form of worship. And as the stars twinkles there, they are worshiping God. You see, brothers and sisters, we cannot see the angels in heaven. But we can see the heavenly bodies day and night. And they tell us that there is a God and that He is wise, powerful, and glorious. Brothers and sisters, sino ho dito matapang 24 hours bibilad sa araw? Wala naman po, right? We all have our limits, right? Right? Sa mga bikers nga po, lahat ng cover ginagawa. Ang nakalabas na lang po yung butas ng mata. But you see, yung sun na yon na kinakatakutan po natin yung heat niya, yung rain niya, brothers, sisters, may nag-create po doon. Yun po ang mas katakutan natin. You see, a powerful sun we must see behind that powerful sun, the creator of that powerful sun. And because he is the creator of the powerful sun, then he is most powerful. Even po, the waters above and below takes us back to Genesis 1, 6 and 7 and 7 to 11 and Psalm 104 verse 3. Ano pong gusto sabihin dito? God created the waters and uses it by His power to accomplish His plans and purposes. Marami po tayong philosophies na narinig about waters and the power of water. Brother, sister, yung power po na yun, nothing to compare than the power who created Him. The created the waters. So why should the hosts of heaven praise the Lord? Why? Why? Bakit nga ba kailangan nilang i-praise ang Lord? Simply because He made them and gave them the privilege of serving Him and His people and bringing glory to His name. 
Alam niyo po ba, mga angels, mga kapatid, they were created to, to serve the Lord and to serve His people. And they enjoy it. Wala po silang reklamo, mga kapatid, because they knew for the very beginning, they were created to serve the Lord and serve His people. And as they do that, and as they function that, as they live that responsibility, nandun po yung joy sa kanila, mga kapatid. Brothers and sisters, we have many more reasons for praising Him. And yet, too often, we do not do it. Second po, in verses 7 to 13, the earth praises the Lord. The sea creatures from the ocean depths had the list, followed by the demonstration of God's power in the atmosphere. The psalmist then moved from the sea and atmosphere into the land where God placed trees for food and trees for building. Wild animals and domestic animals, small creatures, creeping things, and birds. Not to mention po, mga kapatid, in verse 8 of Psalm 148, yung fire po doon, mga kapatid. Probably, marami po nagsasabi, it represents lightning or, or optic or, or volcanic eruption or disturbances and, and, and other things that form that this light from heaven. However, Bible and the author is just saying, even this light, Worship God. But men and women are the highest creatures in God's creation because they were made in the image of God. So if any of God's creation has good reason to praise the Lord, It is mankind. It is you and I. Because we have the privilege of knowing God more intimately and we have the promise of one day being like Christ if we are in Christ. Alam niyo po mga kapatid, kung meron man po dapat na pinaka masasayang ngayon at pinaka, alam niyo po, rejoicing and, 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 and all the reasons of praising the Lord, tayo po yun. Tayo po yun. You know why? Number one, we are created in His image. Number two, Christ died for you and me. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not die for the angels. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not die for this sun and moon and stars and these planets. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not die for these sea creatures and land creatures and for the trees. Brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus Christ died for you and me. For us to be given the right to become His children. Angels cannot even claim that they are children of God. But we humans created in the image of God and being united with Christ, we can say, Abba, Father. You see, angels rejoice when sinners are saved, but they cannot experience the grace of God. Angels cannot experience the grace of God. Brothers and sisters, In our lives, every day, we experience the grace of God. Because the Lord Jesus Christ, God's only Son did not die for them, but for His people. And that is special grace that bestows to His people, to those who are in Christ. So whether we are male or female, young or old, famous or unknown, we can call, we can all know the Lord through Jesus Christ and His words and praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we know His name. 
What a privilege to be a child of the Creator and Ruler and co-heir of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Third, according to verse 14, the people of God praise the Lord. In Scripture po, yung horn, let's go to verse 14. I hope your Bibles are still open with you. He raised up a horn there for his people. Yung horn po doon is a symbol of power and dignity, a king or a kingdom. Now, to take away the horn means to deprive a nation or person of authority and prestige. Pero ano sabi po ng author? You raise up a horn for his people. You see, when the Lord brought his people back from exile, from Babylon, he raised up a horn to them. Now, this cannot refer to a king from David's dynasty. Because remember, when, when King Zedekiah was captured, the dynasty of David ended there. And, and the, return of, the return of the remnant there, they have no king. But you see, in Luke 1, 30 and 33 here, And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid. Mary, for you have found favor with, I, with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. And he will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Brothers and sisters here in Luke, in Luke chapter 1 verses 30 to 33, the Lord has already raised up the horn for his people and, that will, and he will reign over all his creation for all eternity. And his name is King Jesus Christ. Kaya po ito mga kapatid, Psalm 140 verse 14, totoo po ito sa atin. He has raised a horn for us. Kaya po mga kapatid, if you read po ito, when you go back to your home and read 148, every passage po mga kapatid should give, you, should, should give you Jesus Christ in your mind and see how much greater He is in anything or anyone mentioned. He is the creator of all things. He is the captain of the hosts of the Lord. He is the son of righteousness. He is the morning star. When ministering here on earth, He demonstrated power over storms, trees, and wild and domestic animals. He is far above the angels. He revealed the Father's name. He glorified that name in all He was said or did. Brothers and sisters, in all things, Jesus Christ has the preeminence. He is distinct. He is supreme. He is the of highest status. And He deserves our praises and our worship. In Colossians 1, 15 to 19, he said, it says, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for by Him all things were created in heaven and earth. Visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, all rulers, all other authorities, all things were created through Him and for Him. Going on, verse 17 to 19, and He is before all things and in him all things hold together and he is the head of the body the church he is the beginning the first one from the dead 
that in everything he might be praying. For in him, all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. Kaya po, church, let us all respond to this hymn of praise and join with the rest of God's creatures in praising Him, the name above every name, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Remember, Christ and His words means life to us. Life is not life without Christ and His words. We are nothing and have nothing without Him. He is God in every season of life. Let us pray. Father, we praise you with all of our hearts. We praise you with all of our being, O oh Lord. For you deserve all glory. Lord Jesus Christ, we magnify your name. Holy Spirit, we praise you, Lord. Teach us To let go of ourselves continually, Lord. So that all the more we truly worship you in the way you would like us to worship you. In the way you would love your people worshiping you, Lord. As you have taught us, Holy Spirit, truths about our God. May we live our lives, everything that we say, everything that we do, everything that we think. All these things, Lord, may you see us truly glorifying you, Lord. Wala po kaming pwedeng ipagmalaki sa iyo, Panginoon. Wala po kaming pwedeng ipagyabang sa iyo, Lord God. Sa katigasan po ng aming mga ulo at puso, patawarin mo po kami, O Diyos. Dalangin po, katulad po, ng paulit-ulit na sinasabi ng aming Panginoon, naway po ang lahat sa aming nandito, ay may mga tenga pong nakakapakinig ng iyong sinasabi. May you find us having the ears to listen and hear your words, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Again, asking that you bless each and every one of us spiritually, physically, and materially, Lord. We are your children. We are not asking these things for our own sake, but we are asking these things for your name's sake, for your glory's sake, and for your kingdom's sake. Bigay mo po sa amin ang iyong mayamang bendisyon, ang mayamang pag-ibig ng Diyos Ama, ang mayamang grasya ng Panginoong Kristo, ang mayamang pakikipisa ng banal na spirito, tatlong persona sa iisang Diyos, mapa sa ating ngayon bukas, Magpakailan, kailan paman. Amen. Amen. Amen.